Hello friends, you are watching Arudire Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. Let's get started. Hello viewers, today I'll show modeling of a simple mechanical component using SOLIDWORKS. The component is known as knuckle joint. Let's see that object. This is the object. And for drawing these things, we can have different planes. It will be easier to model that object if we select top plane. Initially, we are planning to draw this semicircular part on the top plane and we will proceed left hand side and finally after completing the left hand side we have to model that right hand side part this one and this part will be drawing on front plane right so let us start this one you can see from the drawing that initially we have to draw two semicircles of radius 36 and radius 72 that means you can draw two circles of diameter 72 and 144 let us draw it using solidworks initially we will take part for starting a new drawing and we'll select top plane top plane normal to and as i told before we have to draw two circles of diameter 72 on 144 initially we'll take two circles of any diameter and from smart dimension that we provided as diameter 72 and 144 let us point smart dimension as 72 millimeter and the second one will be 144 millimeter done next one from this one we have to proceed right hand side with a specific distance of 76 millimeter from this center we have to move right hand side with a specific distance of 76 millimeter and from this center we have to move left hand side with a specific distance of 294 that means 76 and 294 we have to move right side and left side let's start with lines from here it will go right hand side 76 millimeter if it take any dimension later on we can provide smart dimension to this one Again, it will go right hand side again from this small circle also it will go right hand side let us draw one center line from here and at the extreme right hand side we have to make one vertical line You have to complete this one without any specific dimension. Now let us point smart dimension, and before that, we have to make some relations. That means these two horizontal lines will be symmetric with respect to the central line. So we can select those specific lines control button we can select the bottom line also and that center line we can select all the three lines you have to provide some relations that means two horizontal lines should be symmetric with respect to the central line it is done accept this one with green check next one we have to provide smart dimension to this one right so the distance is from here to here this total distance is equal to 76 millimeter let us see that dimension here again it will be 76 from here and from this point will be 294 so smart dimension to this one you can provide this is 76 millimeter and this point to the extreme right hand side of this one it will be 294 millimeter again the distance from here to here it will be 72 millimeter right as we are drawing from top 10 this distance should be 72 millimeter
it should be 72 and we can join this one we can extend this part which will be touching this circle right done next one we can trim out unwanted entities we have to have a closed object or closed drawing so we can trim this out we can trim this out exactly the same way we can trim some unwanted entities here in this location okay then it is a closed object now that to be extruded with a specific depth let us see how much should be extruded that to be extruded with a depth of 72 millimeter right so we can extrude this one let us accept this drawing and that to be extruded with a depth of 72 millimeter from the middle plan features extrude boss base and that to be extruded from the middle plan with a depth of 72 millimeter extruded accept this grain check this is accepted with grain check so the top part is done next one we can see the drawing again and we have to proceed on the left hand side for completing this part you can see at the extreme left hand side we have to provide one octagonal cross-sectional area and that to be extruded in the right hand side direction okay so let us make this part let's select the left view and start sketching on this one let us start with the polygon with eight sides done this octagon is done right let us select the front view again now we have to produce some cut on the surface with a depth of 95 millimeter let us see the distance now we have to cut this one with a depth of 90 millimeter features extrude cut and here in this case while extrude cut we have to use flip side to cut that means we have to cut sideways with a depth of 90 millimeter we will cut this one sideways with a depth of 90 millimeter accept this one with green check it is cut to view this one in a better way we can have an isometric view of this one yeah this is cut with a depth of 90 millimeter right now the thing if we see our model that here at this location some kind of circular cut is there actually it will be cut in a circular way so what can you do is we we'll select that specific plane again better to view this one from left hand side and select that specific pen here here we have to provide some kind of cut in round portion so let us start a sketch from here we'll draw one circle accept this drawing Again, from features you have to cut sideways with a tapered angle. Features extrude cut and we have to cut sideways, flip side to cut with a tapered angle. Let us point the angle to be 30 degree. Let us view this object as an isometric view and it will be better to see how it will be cutting right the angle you can change it angle will make it 40 degree fine accept this one with green check now let us view this one from left hand side is perfectly done now one thing is remaining again at this location you have to draw one 
subcular portion with a depth of 60 millimeter and the diameter is not provided diameter of this one will provide as 68 millimeter right here we have to draw one circle and that will be a cylindrical part just draw a circle of diameter 68 millimeter smart dimension to this one as 68 millimeter done accept this drawing with green check next one to provide a extrusion depth of 60 millimeter features extrude boss base that to be extruded with a depth of 60 millimeter and for viewing this one we will see the front end and the extrusion depth should be 60 millimeter done accept this one with green check we'll view this one as an isometric view okay fine again same thing that means at this location you have to provide some kind of round cut sideways let us see the drawing you have to provide some kind of round cut at this location so we'll proceed with the same method what we did before we have to select that space and you have to draw a circle at this location and that will cut sideways with a tapered angle right so we'll select the depth view and at this location we have to draw one circle right for drawing the circle we'll use some option known as convert entity we need not draw the circle again we we'll select that plane the plane is already selected now on that plane we have to use the previous sketch and that to be considered as convert entities the previous sketch is selected convert entities the same circle we have drawn here and that to be cut sideways with a specific tapered angle so features extrude cut that to be cut sideways with a tapered angle of 40 degree now we can see this from different angle let us view this one as an isometric view then you can see this cut in a better way the angle we can point here it is 30 degree accept this one with green check it's done right so the left part is done now let us see the drawing right hand side it is suggested to have the front end and draw two circles of diameter 60 and 120 millimeter at this extreme right hand side okay so we select specific plane it will be front end and normal to here at this location we have to draw two cycles of diameter 60 and 120 millimeter we will select the center position of the cycles with center lines another center line is needed to get the center location now this is the center location at this location we have to draw two cycles of diameter 60 and 120 millimeter and that to be extruded with a depth of 44 plus 44 is 88 plus 72 it is 160 millimeter from the middle plane so we need to draw two cycles of diameter 60 and 120 and that to be extruded from middle plane with a depth of 160 millimeter let us draw two cycles of any dimension and that to be provided a smart dimension as 60 millimeter and 120 millimeter the inner one is having diameter 60 millimeter done and the bigger one will be 120 millimeter done accept this drawing with the green check and that to be extruded with a depth of 160 millimeter from the middle plane for seeing the extrusion depth we can rotate this one and we can see isometric view and extrude that two concentric cycles 
with a depth of 160 millimeter features extrude boss base and the depth of extrusion should be 160 millimeter from the middle plan done accept this one with green check fine you can see here some unwanted portion is there and that to be trimmed out right so for trimming this unwanted portion again we will use the command known as convert entities that means we need not draw the previous circle that circle will be drawn again by using the convert entities so we will select the front end select it sketch now we have to go back to the previous command that is what we drawn before previous sketches selected convert entities now both the circles have been drawn but we don't want the, the bigger one let us trim that bigger circle and we want the inner circle one only the bigger circle is trimmed out accept this drawing that we cut in both ways features extrude cut and we can cut this one with a different option known as through all both accept this one with green check this cut right now another thing is remaining top side you have to provide some kind of cut here right let us see our drawing we need to have a cut section at the top side for doing this one what we'll do is we'll select the top 10 again and using convert entities we'll draw the previous sketch and remove the unwanted entities and that we extrude cut okay so let us select the top 10 sketch now we'll go back to the previous sketch select that previous sketch convert entities the previous sketch is done now the thing is unwanted entities to be deleted you can trim the unwanted entities these things are not needed even this one also not needed we need to have specific lines only done now this part we can complete we can take this one outside also no issues at all so this is a close drawing and that to be cut right that to be cut out from this object you can see the isolated view and that to be cut out from middle pen in both directions features extrude cut and we have to cut in both directions so through all both you can check the model is made right this is the model you see now to have a better look we can put some color to this one appearance and you can provide metallic appearance let us make this one with brass polish brass and to have a better look we can change the background appearance also let us make it very white so this is the model right you can see it this is a knuckle joint this is a very important drawing for mechanical engineers okay thank you so much for watching this video now if you want to learn solidworks in a better way you can see my udemy courses link of this one is provided in the description box thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye if you like this video please subscribe and share and if you have any kind of doubts please write to me thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye